I'm going to read to you some of the series of Voyager events, the 11th book. The 11th book um, is a school book of mine that I've been reading. I'm sorry if I stumble off some words. This is a 6th grade book and I'm only in 4th grade. So anyway, we'll start with Fiona. It's because I already finished the other page and that was the end of the last sentence. So let's start. Fiona sighed. Okay, well, let's restart. Fiona sighed and, and, and stopped her furtive journey, a phrase which means here sneaking towards the mothic. Um, sorry, guys, I don't know that word, but if you do, um, um, I guess you can just um, kill the volume and read it for yourself. Mythologicus book. Or she, she says quietly, and stepped through the porthole to join the bottle edge. On the way to the brig, I'll give you the grand tour, Olaf announced, leading the way a sh as, as a short of a br brig for the queen, queen quig itself. There, there were several inches of water on the floor to help the captured submarine move through the wet splash, splashes as they followed followed the boasting villain. While while Sunny coughed again in her helmet, Olaf pressed an eye on the wall, and a small door spilled open with a sinister whisper to reveal a condor, the submarine in one of the greatest. Greatest thing I've ever stolen, he bragged. It's, it has everything. I'll need a, def I need to defeat VFD once and for all. It ha has a so Sora, sy Sora system so I c can ride the seas of VFD submarines. It has an enormous fly, fly, fly water, water so I can can ride the skies of VFD planes. It, it has a lifetime supplies of matches so I can get can rid the world of VFD headquarters. It has several cases cases of wine that I plan to drink up myself and a closet full of very stylish outfits for my girlfriend. And best of all, it has plenty of op op opportunities for children for children to do hard labor. Ha ha ha. Head of, head of homex. If you guys don't know that what that word means, it's okay. I don't know either. Gesture, gesturing. Oh, and also, if you guys were wondering, break, it's a term of jail. If I would have read sooner, I would have read the whole entire book to you guys, then you guys would know. Gesturing with his sword and lead the, leading the children around a corner into an enormous room. The room they had a glimpse of as the Quankir trembled inside this terrifying place. It had ha, was quite dark and with very few lanterns hanging from from the top of the pillar, pillars scattered around the room, but Violet Cloud and Klaus could see two two large rows rows of unfortable look wooden benches on which sat a crowd of children hurriedly working long oars and stretching across the room and bending the walls where there's, they slide through the metal holes in order to control the, the tentacles of the octopus. The, the eldest bottle recognized some of the children from the troop of snow scouts they had encountered in the, the, mountain, in the mountains, and a few looked quite a bit like other students at prefer, preps, preparatorial school when the sibling, siblings had first encountered Carmelia Spatz. And if you guys don't know, 
I'm going to be in a play, and I'm going to be first Ariel in the book, because my name's Ariel in Carmelia Speck. Well, anyway, I was only encountering to do one page, but since it took us a little bit to, I'm sorry, guys, it took us a little bit to the other page, um, I guess I'll finish that page. Okay, but some of the other others were children with whom the Baudelaire's had 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 no prior experience. A phrase which means who who had probably been kidnapped by Olaf or his assistants on another occasion. The children looked very weary, quite hungry, and more than a little bored. As they worked, they the metal oars back and forth. In the very center of the room, and pe peered to another octopus. This one made of slippery cloth. Six of of the octopus's arms hung limply at the at at its side, but two two of them were waving high in the air. One of them clutched clutching what looked like a long, long, damp noodle. Grow faster, you stupid brat, the octopus cried in a familiar, wicked voice. You have to get back to the Hotel Dominic, Dominic before Thursday, and it's Monday already. If you don't hurry up, I'm going to hit you with this changler grood. I warn, I warned you before. Str sh I warn you before sh strike struck with a large piece of pasta in a unpleasant, somewhat st sticky experience. Ho ho ho, sniggle. That's it, guys. So what I'm gonna read? It's because I'm not a very good reader, and I don't like putting videos on YouTube of me reading, but I just got done reading my book, and I wanted to read more, but I don't usually unless I have a reason, so this is my reason to read more than I, what I was supposed to, and if you guys wanted to know, I was on page 203, yeah, whenever we finished, ho, 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 sniggle, and you guys, if you read it, if you start reading it and you and you just came to this page, you don't have to read it. It's because I read it to you guys. I encourage you guys to read this series. It's because it's a really cool series. And had my mini Snicket put some of his family in it. Kit Snicket, who, spoiler alert, has a daughter. Or, not a daughter, a, a baby. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl and dies. Not sure how, though. Just my friends are kind of spoilers because they're all ahead of me. But, bye-bye.